Okay, so I got this lovely question. Um, what else is there apart from thoughts to let go of? Isn't that it? Isn't that finished now? And from a, an advanced uh, spiritual uh, seeker? Well, I would say, well, it depends on how you label things. I mean, labeling thoughts as those things that seem to be like little objects that fly past, like the sky is blue, I have to pay my taxes, you know, that are witnessed passing by. If if one labels those things as thoughts, if you want, one lets go of all of those those things so that there is no longer any identification and they cease to exist, that is quite a sublime um, infinite experience. But um, you know there can be subtleties. You know it's just how you label it. I mean you. I mean the, one argument could be that everything is thought. But if I label thoughts as those things that flip by, thoughts are not the body, and thoughts are not location, and thoughts are not time, and thoughts are, you know, are not, um, uh, so those are the gross ones. Uh, let me see. Uh, there's objects, but like the body. There's the thoughts that flip by that seem to be saying things. Uh, there's feeling. Oh, yes, feelings. If I don't label feelings as thoughts, like sh a shame cloud comes along and passes by, um, you know, physical sensations, you know, even though that's a very strongly labeled idea, um, and location and time. And then there's the more subtle things, you know. Um, if you let go of thoughts, you, you might get to a place of a non-local, timeless, infinite state. But then there's, there's still, um, is there more to go? There's still more to go even in the infinite realms. Um, as, as Hawkins said, you know, there's the infinite peace or the infinite silence, or the void, or the emptiness, which is with no th no thought and no form, and then there's the resolution to that, which is um, um, the infinite love and light, the you know where nothing else can exist. So there's resolutions even within the infinite, and uh, and uh, uh, and also there's testing. There is such thing as nonverbal testing. Um, uh, Hawkins calibrated. Uh, Christ, uh, the temptation of Lucifer. That was actually a non-verbal temptation, uh, which is very hard to comprehend. But even at those levels, well, uh, there are still tests that, that carry on. So, um, uh, so what else is there beyond thought? What happens is as you go into those beyond thought state, isn't usually it's sublime or there's bliss, or, or, or maybe even ecstasy. But eventually, something will come up to to um for um uh for testing temptation whatever you call to re res resolve um the next level like uh, i mean hawkins shared even in the state of ecstasy i mean in ecstasy you can't really think the energy is too intense the thoughts are silenced but uh, even there even though there's no thought something wants to doesn't make sense there's some sense of wanting to keep the ecstasy going even in states of non-thoughts and that needs to be surrendered so these are like non-subtle these are subtle thoughtless states but still there there is testing um so yeah but uh you don't need to worry about that i mean uh it's hard to explain it would depend but anyway once no thoughts is wonderful um and uh, i just wanted to share something more on how do you get to a place of no thoughts? I don't think I got that question. Look, the only reason something st sticks around is because there's interest in it. Uh, this it's really really simple. I'm going to I'm going to say this. I think it's really really simple, at least to me anyway. It's like if I'm not interested in handbags. Uh, no, that's not a good example. Let's say I'm interested in um, donuts. I'm interested in donuts. I'm a food addict. I go to 12-step programs for people who can't stop eating and are obsessed with food and sugar and cakes and whatnot. If I have, you know, calling on the help of divinity, 100% willingness to let that go so it means nothing to me and I'll never go there or see that thing again. I want it to disappear into neutrality and silence. And that is my absolute intention. I'm not interested in donuts. I don't want to think about them. I don't even want to see them. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to help other people recover from their addiction to donuts. Uh, you get to a place where you don't see donuts any longer. And even people put the plate of donuts in front of you. Um, 
I was with someone actually in a, in a cake shop. I said, let's go and sit here. And they knew I, I or my history of, uh, but you know, it's like, it, I don't see that. I don't see the cakes, you know, and it's, that's the thing, you know, if you want to let it go completely, it will cease to exist for you. Now, then comes the thing of thoughts. Why are thoughts still existing? Well, something in you still interested in them. There's something in you wants to hang on to seeing them. You believe they're useful. You, you, need, you think you need them to survive. Um, they're entertainment. They're familiar, whatever it is. So if you 100% are willing to let it go, they will go. It's like, is there something in you that wants to hang on and keep, you know, it's like a TV. Uh, uh, the um, I shared this before. It's one of my best metaphors. I must think of a different one. If there's a TV in the corner of the room and you go, well, I, I can't not look at the TV and see what's on the TV set. Yes, you can. You know, you can uh, you can let go of your being interested in TV, even for TVs on in the room. And then eventually you don't see it or hear it. You can do that. I mean, I'm sure there's something in you that knows you can do that. If there's a hundred percent willingness to forget giving it any attention or being a, having any interest in it, even if it's on all the time. So uh, that's just the same thing that needs to be done to thoughts. There's nothing there for me. In fact, nothing but pain. If that's the if that if if that's the attitude, then um, you know they won't they won't um, continue to exist for much longer. They'll get fainter and fainter until they're more like you hardly notice them. Like walking down a street and there's clouds in the sky, but you don't notice them. Even if they were there, you didn't see them because there, there's nothing there for you to pick up. I'm just not interested in remembering or looking or paying attention to clouds in the sky. Absolutely uninteresting. Okay, so I'll stop there.